Descending into small business TikTok. If you happen to be on the left side of the aircraft and you take a look out your window now, you'll see hardworking individuals creating with little to no recognition or pay. If you are on the right side, you may catch a glimpse of a fantastic packaging video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment on that because that shit is hard to film. Organizing my beads. Part three. Green. I cut in half then pull. Oops. Time for charms. Pearls. Saving this spot for later. I am whiting all of my containers. All done. Organizing my beads. Part four, red and yellows. Cut and pull. I like this orange. Pull time. Adding white as usual. All done. More coming soon. Giving the avocado a home. It's going to a better place. Picking out the right color of grains. One more. Spin, spin. All done. Happy avocado. Should I sell it on my shop? I spent $50 more on these. This is what we got. Charm time. I love this batch of charms. Turtles. I love the shells. Containers are small, but I have other ones. Stickers. I finally have all my blue beads now I can organize Shiny. them. Organizing my beads. Part blue. Cut and pull as usual. Trying to strand. Oops. Pull time. I always add white. All done purple is next. Organizing my beads. We need more beads first. That's better. Organizing my beads part purple. Oops. Cut and pull. We found a spy. Pull time. You didn't see that. Purple is done. Charm time. I spent $100 on beads and this is what I got. Lots of cool colors for spring and summer. Now for the charms.
can get for ten cents. Broken turtle. Freebie. Time to ship it. Made with love. Why are your bracelets so expensive? I've gotten a couple of these comments, so let's talk about it. There's a couple of key factors that go into the pricing of my bracelets. With any small business or business in general, they need to calculate how much supplies it's going to cost. Along with cost, it also takes time. Using this two-step formula, you can go ahead and calculate how much you want to sell your bracelets. We chose the sellers within the $5 range and we even have some cheaper than that. Our bracelets also take about 10 to 15 minutes each to make and this doesn't include taking pictures of them or videos. I also wish we could sell them for super cheap but it's not quite realistic. Another thing that tends to add up is packaging. Now packaging is something I want to change for the world and I love it so much. But all these little things slowly add up but it makes it super fun to give and it's fun to receive. When you buy from a small business, you're buying more than just an item and we appreciate it so much. Organizing our beads. Rainbow. Working on the pinks. This is how I put them in the storage. Time for pearls. I am white in all of the containers. Yes, scoop approved. How to tie a bracelet together. So first, I just basically do granny knot and make an X and then loop it under and then pull. The second knot's actually just slightly different. I still make that X and then put it through the loop, but instead of pulling it, I actually put it through the loop again. And I believe this is called a surgeon's knot and then I just pull it. We're gonna make that same knot again. So I make an X, put it through the loop, and then I put it through the loop again and then I pull. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to make another granny knot, which is just a normal basic knot where you make an X, you put it through the loop, and then you pull it. But it seriously depends on what string you use. We use a white elastic string. It's so nice. You could just seriously get it from anywhere. And then we just cut it, and then it's good. <laughs> That's cute. I wish I could get it, but... Today's a little different. I made a bracelet generator and it's time to roll some numbers. So we're going to be picking three colors. We picked blue, light yellow, and then teal. Now it's time to move on to charms. Let's see what we get. We got shell. All right, let's go ahead and pick out our colors. So again, we got blue and I'm using this blue here. I think it's the prettiest. And then this teal and then this yellow. It looks brighter, but I promise it's actually really light. Gonna go ahead and cut our string and then we're gonna thread it through the eye of the needle and use my bead spinner. This was a little trickier just because I didn't have a ton of beads in there. We filled it up and we're gonna measure it. But this is kind of a fun process. I've actually really liked using the generator so far. I'm gonna put pearls and then our shell charm. After putting those on, it's time to tie it and then we just tie it a bunch of times. And then we're gonna stretch it out to make sure it's good. And then cut it. It reminds me of the little mermaid, but yeah, I'm excited to do more of these. This listing is now live on my Etsy if you guys want to join.
Organizing my boots. So it's restock day because some of our pinks are slacking. Some of them are completely gone, some of them are kind of low, and then some of them we still have a decent amount of. Hot pink. That's Sophia's color. My fave. It's the best. It's the best out of them. <laughs> she cuts it and then I pull it, and then she also films. This one kind of went everywhere. <laughs> Okay, this next color might drive some of you guys crazy, but I think it's so cute. Oh, wait, not hot pink. Baby pink. Baby beads. Little baby. They're so cute. Tiny. I think they still needed to be in here. They're so cute. They're so little. Mm -hmm. Anyways, here's our lighter pink. I didn't want to mix the lighter pink in with the other lighter pink because they're slightly different. Here's my neon pink. I love it so much. It's the best. Mm -hmm. Well, besides mine. Better. No, mine's best. And then now we're sucking the white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're all done. Sure. Today, we we're packing an order for my cousin, but this is actually a surprise. My uncle messaged me saying he wants to get something for his daughter, aka my cousin. It is actually perfect timing because we just opened our new launch, and so he picked some things out that he think she would like and I totally agree with his choices so we gathered everything up we got all our packing supplies we're gonna pack package these two together we actually just got new packaging which is so exciting it's so fun we're gonna put these two together and since it's a set we're gonna staple it I accidentally did the staple too high but it's okay so we're gonna cover it with a sticker Write our thank you note, and I love this, but it's so sparkly. Then we're gonna get our freebies together, little thank you cards, some stickers, a high chew. And I actually have to show you what I made. I made this little cute coupon, but on the back, which you guys see, a little thing you could hang up for your wall collage, and I'm gonna change it out every month. You guys can get like a little nice collection, and I'm gonna be putting them out too. Anyway, so we put everything in the bag. We're gonna take off that sticker, seal it up, put more stickers on. But I'm excited for my cousin. Also, glad she doesn't have TikTok, so she can't see this.
out of here. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back.
Use the sound if you make bracelets. Show us your first bracelet, your favorite bracelet, your least favorite bracelet, the bracelets that everyone wants to steal when they see, and lastly, your colorful bracelet.
Hi guys, you might not recognize my voice, but I'm Jessica's little sister, Violet. Even though I'm only eight, I started selling these handmade bracelets. They come in small and large, and you can also add your name. These are the only colors now, but soon I'll be coming out with four. Pack my first order with me. This is for Kaja. These are the freebies she's getting. She ordered our Love Smile bracelet in pink and purple. I'm not taking my eyes off you. Three days later. Hey, SpongeBob. Hi, Patrick. You break it, you buy it. <laughs> they can't cost too much, can they? They look pretty small. They're rare. 200,000 yen. Letting my image migrate.
out of here. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back. Here. Guess you didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. I got my driver's license last week. It's always one step forward and three steps back. How to tie the end of the bracelet. So first off you start off is get an X and then the string that's under you put it under the X then you make a knot then you just basically repeat this over and over I would say about depends on the string that you're using if you're using crystal string then probably three and the string probably four but this is probably my first time using the elastic string so i just wanted to try it out because i have a lot of it but never used it so here is me cutting it and this is how the bracelet looks bye yeah. I'm gonna show you how to make a clay bracelet. I have a box to use this. Get your string and your scissors, and this is in order, so I'm going to measure mine. The wrist was very small for this one, so I'm gonna cut it pretty short. Once you have your string, you can clip it into a box or you can tape it onto a table, but make sure it's secure. And I leave about one inch in the box so that you have room to tie it. Then get your colors. You don't have to do colors, you can do all sorts of different colors of beads or shapes. This person wanted white and green. Then you can start stringing on the beads. 
Once you finish, you can start to tie your bracelet. How I tie mine is like a shoelace. You cross one over, then you feed one under, and you pull. I do that maybe like three to four times to make sure it's pretty secure. Make sure to pull it super tight so that it doesn't come undone. Then clip the excess string, and then I stretch it out a little to make sure it's a little loose for the person. And there you go.
clip here. Sorry in advance for sometimes when I go off screen, but I'll tell you what's coming. You will need all the stuff that I'm showing on screen. It comes with most beat kits. Um, so you take this and thread it through the little hole in the middle and you clamp it down. Just like that. And then you take your pliers and like really make sure you do it or you, you like smash it together because this will be what's holding your bracelet together. Okay, and now you're done with the first part of it. Now make your bracelet, just whatever beads you want on there, and then do the exact same thing we just did to the other end of the bracelet. And clamp it on there, and make sure it's really tight with the pliers. Like, really make sure it's really tight. Like, make sure it's really on there good. And then you thread your little circle chain thing through the little holes in the the little clamper thingy and sorry this is where I go off screen you add the alligator clip th through the thingy and then you close your hook with the pliers and yeah and you also a circle hook to the other side and you hook it together and you have a bracelet and yeah that's how you do it. Let's get into a clay beads factory outlet in China. They only produce clay beads, so they don't have anything else to offer. The good thing is that their prices are pretty competitive. Let's keep going to see all different styles they have. These ones are huge packages. These are clay beads bracelets 2022. While there are some examples of what you can make, however, possibilities are endless by using different combinations with other kind of beads, charms, strings, closures, etc. some orange clay beads. These are mixed fruit clay beads.
I think these are pretty cute. Also these. Here are the round beads. If you are a clay beads business and want to see more, then follow us for upcoming new styles. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.